Good morning, people of God. I hope everyone um, had a good night rest or a great morning. Listen, I want to share something with you quickly before I start my day. Um, and it comes from Matthew 24, um, beginning at um, verse 4. It reads, And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes, and divers in divers places. And all these are the beginning of sorrows. All right? And that stops at verse 8. Okay, so that's Matthew 24, 4 through 8. So think it not strange as I don't know if you've been paying attention to what's been going on around the world. I'm going to put a link in the description. I'm going to put several links in my description. And I want you to pay attention to some things because the scriptures tell us to watch as well as pray. And this is the time, people of God to pray that the Lord reinforces and expands our wisdom and continuously sharpens our discernment, all right? There are a lot of distractions that the enemy will use. Um, he will use people to try to throw us off, okay, from hearing the voice of God so that we um, d are not prepared in a way. Uh, the number one way we should be prepared is internally with our soul, keeping our hearts and our minds pure, fighting. There are a lot of temptations coming. <laughs> Trust me, there are a lot of temptations that's been coming. Me as a single woman, there, it, see, it almost seems as the devil has, the, the, the enemy has told all his agents <laughs> to focus on this one. But um, we must stay in tune with the spirit of God and pray for wisdom, pray for discernment. I know uh, starting um, about a month or so ago, the Lord started putting it on my spirit heavy to warn my people to prepare for self-sufficiency. So war is inevitable, um, but God still wants his people to be prepared. All right. Think it not strange when you see um, how a lot of other countries are already suffering with famines, with some of these same things that the scripture says must come to pass, it's only a matter of time before America begins to inherit some of these same type of uh, catastrophes. And also, um, I want you to pay attention to something. I'm not sure if any of you remember this, but a few months ago, Russia, um, I don't know if they were bragging or showing their hands, but they, they, they recorded a video showing three of their, several of their submarines. Um, they sh showed how they were able to break up through ice, their nuclear submarines. And we had a senator that ma made a threat the other day, um, uh, Senator Ricker, about how America should, uh, the president should think about, keep, think about um, nuking Russia. Excuse me, if they were to attack Ukraine, I don't think that was wise for him to say. I don't think that was wise for you to say, Senator Ricker, with all due respect, um, not publicly. Um, one of the key elements to w war is the element of surprise. Um, but also know that just as everything that is America is packing now, baby, a lot of our enemies or a lot of our adversaries are packing just the exact same thing, if not even more. And um, China has a great way to leverage against America, which I won't go into details about that. But we're also, um, what I just recently learned, we're buying oil from Russia. Think about that now. So Russia has sent 100,000 soldiers to the Ukraine border. And a few hours ago, there was another article that came out where they reinforced those soldiers. To, they sent 20 more thousand. So now they have 120,000 at the Ukraine border. And they Ukraine is one of our allies. All right. 
then simultaneously, China is pushing on Taiwan. Taiwan is one of our allies. Think it not strange that China and Russia are both pushing up on two allies of America at the same time. Hmm. Think it not strange. And also, don't second guess and doubt what this man is doing. I don't know. Some people say, oh, man, he been, he may be trying to get attention or whatever. Um, prepare your house, people of God. It doesn't matter what these people are doing. Be obedient to the spirit of God. And God is urging his people to prepare for self-sufficiency. He has been doing that. Okay. Um, prepare for self-sufficiency regardless of what these people are doing. Because I don't think that this guy, Putin, would send 100,000 soldiers. And that's a significant amount of soldiers to this border um, just to draw them back you know, or just to bully or intimidate. And then on top of that, with all this noise going on, he goes and sends 20,000 more to reinforce it, you know, um, around that border of Ukraine. So when the water freezes, we know, you know, it's going to get colder. You know, the, the, the water, the water around the, I think the front borders, of Ukraine, if you look at it on the map from the satellite, I don't think that that water is not frozen. So we know that when the water freezes, if it gets colder, based on what I seen from this article, um, this video that these people posted up back in March, where they revealed they had these submarines that could break up from um, through ice. You see, so they could also have submarines now underwater all surround in the front of Ukraine, surrounding the entire nation. But no one will know that. That's very powerful. See? So, I don't think they're posted up there for any reason. As time continues, as we move into January, it's going to get colder. There's already snowstorms going on in Russia. Their economy is, is, is hurting in some ways. Everybody's economy is hurting in some ways, you know? So, um... Watch as well as pray. Most importantly, get your house, this house right here, the heart, the mind, the soul in order. But also prepare for self-sufficiency. The end has not come yet. There should be wars, rumors of wars, earthquakes, famines. All of that is already happening. Several places all over the world. Look at Venezuela. Um, I remember a few years ago, I used to have a Facebook. I don't, I deleted my Facebook years ago. I think back in 2018, my personal Facebook. And then I had a business Facebook. I deleted that earlier this year or late last year. Um, so I don't have Facebook, but I remember a few years ago, I had a, some dreams and I shared, I was led to share some things. And I remember I was telling folk that, um, the dollar, like money is going to be equal to toilet tissue. Right. And then it happened in Venezuela. It happened in Venezuela. It came to pass there. First, people, the, the, the famine was so bad. The economy was so poor. The money was pop throw up, um, was just um, thrown out into the streets. It was worthless. It was nothing. The money there was equal to toilet tissue. So anyway. Um, have a blessed day, people of God. Enjoy your day. Command your day. Walk in the power and the authority of God. And um, and that's it. Just pray for wisdom. You know, and another thing, this is off topic um, that I want to share. Sometimes when you have been taken advantage of for so long and you're meeting new people, um, new people want to connect with your heart and they look for you know, when you let your guard down, you share your areas of vulnerability. That's how people connect with your heart. And sometimes when people see you being so strong, um, they can see beyond that. And they know that, um, you know, you're, you're not letting your guards down. But at the same time, the scriptures tell us to guard our heart. For out of the heart flows the issues of life, you know. So my motto is, Time reveals all things. 
it takes time. It takes time to get to know folk. So anyway, have a blessed day. If nobody told you they love you, I love you. You are special. You are anointed. You are the light of the world. Don't let your light grow dark. Let your light shine bright. In Jesus' name, have a blessed day.